Hello again. We are delighted to be invited to the kitchen of local chef Roy Harlan of Bentley's Bistro. We are here to share one of the winning recipes from our MedWatch SeaFit Recipe Challenge. Joining Chef Roy Harlan is Kim Terrapelli, who is a registered dietitian from our SeaFit program at Community Medical Centers, also one of our judges did a great job. Now the winning recipe this week is an enchilada casserole and the person who sent it in was Natalie Vandergriff but the recipe was actually her mother Hilda's. So Hilda's going to join us today and just kind of oversee and make sure they prepare this right. All right so what we're going to do now is let you two take it on over and get cooking. Okay. We have some ingredients that were selected to be a little healthier, cut down on the sodium, add some fiber, some color, um, kind of make up for the lack, you know, the reduced fat. Um, we have some things that most of the supermarkets will have. Uh, Bentley's carries these things. Uh, reduced uh, sodium is a, is a big deal that we really, uh, we'll get the numbers a little later, but you'll see how that just makes a big difference and hopefully won't affect the flavor that much. Did you uh, enjoy putting this together? I really did. It was really a, a good recipe to work from um, just because there were so many uh, things that we could work with to reduce the overall fat but still maintain the taste. So some of the things that we'll talk about here is replacing the ground beef with some ground turkey right. and like you said, a couple of the uh, reduced sodium items here that will really help lower the overall salt of the, of the dish. Well, you know, I'm a big... Uh, promoter of using everything fresh, but mm -hmm. you know, I've always loved using canned beans. They really oh, yeah. retain uh, so much nutrition, and uh, so you pick some things that really do work, and uh, I think it looks like a really good recipe we're going to see. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get cooking. Let's do it. Okay, we've got the turkey meat. It's very, very lean, so we've, uh, to use the least amount of fat, we just use some pan spray to just coat the pan. Uh, the least amount is best, but you need some. You can see how it's just starting to lightly brown. Uh, we've got some onions we're going to add. Uh, Chef Justin is going to... you got some onions there? Thank you, Justin. This is actually Justin's Bistro Kitchen we're, we're using today. I would normally throw some salt in here right now, but there's other salt coming in, the, in some of the other ingredients, so we're going to keep it real low sodium. And I think, Chef, if you agree that the change uh, with the lean turkey from the ground uh, beef is not only saving us the fat and the calories, but it also maintains a lot of the flavor. Oh, it, it really does. Yeah. The turkey does have a lot of flavor. I love it for that. We're going to make the sauce part, okay. which is uh, we're using a couple of these soups we told you about. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, we're using the reduced fat, lower sodium version of these. we got the chilies. And some black olives. Yep. A little sodium there, but it tastes so good. True. And these are the uh, reduced sodium beans, reduced fat. These are the black beans. And this is something that we've added to the recipe um, that was not in the original uh, recipe calling. And so we wanted to have just a little bit more fiber to the dish. And so by adding the beans, and we're going to add some corn here in a little bit, you're getting a little bit more fiber. And I think the, the black beans give it a little flare. Yep. A little <clears throat> color. Nice. And a little bit of milk. And again here we went from whole milk down to 2%, not cutting out all the fat, um, but just making a nice dent in that total fat. Um, we've cut back actually uh, 10 grams of saturated fat um, in this dish, and a lot of that came from the milk, it came from switching out to the lean turkey, and as well as the cheese that we're going to add here. And we've got some um, enchilada sauce, mm -hmm. they just have the large cans, uh, so that would be a lot, and this is the hot one too. Oh yeah. So we're, we have Good flavor there. <laughs> uh, and then the corn. Yep. And again, the corn was something, again, that we added um, that wasn't in the original recipe. Just to add a little bit more color, a little bit more Let's fiber, a little more crunch to it. Okay, so to this sauce, we'll call it the sauce, we're going to add the meat. Yep. Which is ready to go. Get all those brown bits. Oh, yeah. So this... It's going to be layered with the cheese and the tortillas, and mm -hmm. then we're going to bake it. Justin's just sort of finishing the last layer. Um, some of this sauce, we're going to uh, smooth it out, top, topping this with uh, the remaining cheese and the olives we had left over. And then we have a preheated oven over there at 350 degrees, and it's going to take a good uh, half an hour till it's bubbly and a little brown on the surface. It's a beautiful dish. 
Oh, what do you think? Well, it looks delicious, Cindy. Um, and I actually liked uh, how they were making the sauce, um, thinking that I could make it into a dip as well. So thank you very much. We were able to save you some calories, cut a lot of fat and cholesterol out of the recipe, and even added some fiber. Thank you, Chef Roy and the kind people at Bentley's for inviting us.